that I'm going to make. Um, sounds like I'm going to do something really official. Well, it is quite official, but it's not. It's not that official. It's not serious. It's not world news. Um, it's nothing. Nothing to write home about, really. Well, maybe there is actually. Who knows? Uh, maybe we'll switch it up. Um, Meanwhile, I find some music or something. Oh, American Horror Story. So I'm in the middle of watching. The, I watch them kind of back to front. If anybody watches American Horror Story, there's like 10 seasons or something. But I'm desperate to get to this uh, season that's about the apocalypse because it's so good. But someone told me you have to watch all of them. Um, Um, someone told me you have to watch all of them to be able to watch the last one. So I've been cycling through. I'm on Murder House at the moment um, that I've just started. And I love it. It's very crazy. There's a lot of... I wish that things would automatically translate sometimes. Or maybe I'm just lazy and need to learn more languages. Um, Yeah, so I might as well get started with these announcements. I think we're looking pretty good. There's 85,000 people on here. That seems more than enough people to announce stuff to, I guess. Um, yeah, we are in the middle of making a brand new Veep show for you guys. Um, with a little bit of a twist. Uh, because um, the show is called Here's to the Future, the Future on The Future. We should have called it The Future because it's on Veeps, actually. <laughs> If anyone on the Veeps team is listening, here's the future on Veeps. Um, and basically, I've been very fortunate on Veeps. We've managed to do some amazing shows. Um, obviously, Louis did an amazing show on there as well. Uh, but I think it's important with this platform that I've now developed and the relationship that I have with you guys, um, that we bring some some new talent through um, from all around the world, really. And we wanted to make this show to give them the stage. I mean, it was amazing for me, you know, to be able to invite people like my cousin on, for example, uh, and, and for you guys to hear him. And, you know, he's been doing an amazing, amazing job on here uh, ever since every Sunday, which has been really cool. Um, yeah, I, th I, th I just think it's really important in that sense that we, we, we invite these people on and they get to, oh, I've gone shiny, um, to do their bit. Oh God, this light's bright. What have I done? Okay, that'll do. Um, yeah, so it's going to be on the 31st of July. Uh, there's going to be a whole host of different artists that will be playing. Uh, and I am going to sing a few songs as well. Uh, and kind of host, I think. Um, yeah, the ticket link is about to be in my bio right this minute. So please go on and um, and get tickets and come, come and join in the fun. I, I think it's going to be really, really great. I mean, it was it was amazing for me every week on the Veeps show watching all of the you know, the the support artists come on and, and do their bit. And we had some amazing, amazing different people on. Um, so hopefully more of the same, really, I guess. Has anybody got a question they would like to ask me? Thanks, Jeff. Your hair also looks rather well. Now, has anyone got any suggestions of songs that I might sing? Not right now, but when I get to the show. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Thank you for the, the the hair love, guys. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm pumped about the show. It's gonna be nice to get out and do some things. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm excited to see what different artists we bring to the table. Um, I, I don't know if you can see actually in the background there. That is actually a picture right up here. That's me and Louis on Gogglebox, <laughs> which I just noticed in the corner, which is quite fun. That seems to follow me around to every single house that I move into, so uh, love that. How is Bear? Bear is really, really good. Uh, have I got any new updates for you? I mean, he's, he's old enough that he started telling me what to do at this point, which is a difficult challenge as with any parent. <laughs> um, I, maybe five minutes ago, he was, you know, this big. Make sure I haven't missed anything off my little announcement sheet here. Yeah, so we'll be announcing the artists for this uh, later on this week. 
Um, and also suggestions you guys might have for people that we should have on the show as well would be good. Because um, I don't think this is going to be a one-time thing, depending on how you guys take it. Uh, but it's exciting. Who knows what could happen? Who knows? Sing bedroom floor. Good old classic bedroom floor. How about new tattoos? How about it? I mean, I've been thinking about it. It's been kind of hard in lockdown. Um, since my favourite tattoo artist is in uh, Los Angeles and I haven't been for a very long time. Um, his name's Nico Hurtado. You should check him out. He's really cool. This hair, with this hair, sing strip that down. I wonder what difference the hair would make. I do wonder. Sing for you. You should have Louis as a guest. I should be so lucky to have Louis as a guest. I haven't spoken to Louis in a minute, actually. I need to give him a call. That reminds me. How is LP2 going? I mean, LP2 was going really well until all of this kind of thing happened, um, which I suppose has been the same for many artists in that respect. And, yeah, I... Um, I need to get back out and see my team that were in Sweden uh, for some more songwriting. Uh, but it's been tough. I mean, I tried to write remotely and, and do things over Zoom. And Zoom's good for meetings and stuff. But songwriting, it ain't all about that, to be honest with you. It's not all about it. Tranquilo, papi. In fact, with the Tranquilo, papi thing, I did see there was an Ono Liam like almost trended thing, which is quite funny, which then took me back to Oh No Nile. <laughs> From all those many moons ago. Uh, I don't even know if I could bring it up actually, because he'll probably tell me off because he usually does. Um, but that, that video of <laughs> him with the basketball man. <laughs> I mean, we've all had our Oh No's, you know. I, I mean, I make regular Oh No's all the time, to be honest with you. Um, but never mind, <laughs> that's just life, isn't it? That's just life. Um, I hope you have an amazing day, Gabsby06. I hope you do too. Does anybody have? Oh, no, Niall, someone's put that's quite funny. Let's not trend that, guys, because that will get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, sometimes the power you feel from behind these things is terrible. Um, yeah, I haven't heard from Niall in a minute, actually. I'd like to. I'd like to. I named my cat Nile every time he falls I say oh no Nile or we need to get off this subject. <laughs> uh, oh no. Oh no Nile is just the biggest quote of all time. Okay, this is going way too far at this point. Has anybody got any other questions that don't relate to oh no Nile? What was everybody else's oh no's? That's the real question, isn't it? I mean Harry was probably fallen over at some point. Louis Nile got vaccinated. Well done, Niall. Maybe that's what we should trend instead. Who's your favourite American horror story character? Oh. I mean, my favourite one was the one that was in that little, um, that little mysterious olden timey town from uh, America. But it's got a strange... Let me see if I can find it, what it was called. Favourite character that goes... I mean, I don't know about character, but that was definitely my favourite season so far. And that was like the one I started on, which I feel like... I feel like some seasons are quite good. I feel like Roanoke, that was it. I feel like Hotel kind of got a little bit funky at points. Coven was pretty good. Yeah, Coven was was good as well. Uh, and I haven't seen Apocalypse yet, so don't tell me what happens. <laughs> Please don't ruin it for me. Um, lots of people from Brazil. Go Brazil. Is there a chance that you will visit a country next year or this year? I mean, I hope so. I mean, the borders and everything seem to be open up in the moment, which is quite good. But it, it's um, it's tough. It's it's hard to get around at the moment. Um, there's I, I know there's a few places in the works that I'm waiting to see. Um, if I can go there, and I've never been before, which was uh, that was actually my plan for this this year, and that that was obviously a big struggle. Big big struggle. Gabby M. Mabia. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty good. 
I need to get to the gym at some point today. It was the only thing that was on my little list. Um, I spent most of the day dying this thing again, which is quite an, it's quite annoying actually, but it's um, I like it, so I have to just oh sing wolves. You know what? I'd love to be able to sing wolves, but the verse we wrote for that is so high that I don't think I can manage without anybody else there. If anybody wants to come and join me, that is. <laughs> yeah, I, I know a few of you guys have been on my Discord as well, which I can see that people are guessing uh, guessing the name of the next song. Good luck with that. Let me know how that goes for you. Okay, I'm going to recap things just for everybody who's joined in or not joined in. Uh, so, on the 31st of July, I'm doing a brand new show on Veeps, um, which is all about everybody else this time. It's not about me. Um, and it's called... Here's to the future on Veeps. And it's basically a chance to give you guys, I've hand-picked and selected a bunch of artists that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. And I feel like because of the amazing job you guys have done for me, I would like to give give back in that sense for people to to be able to to have their time on the on the in the spotlight and on the stage, which would be fun. Um I'm gonna sing a few songs myself as well, so it won't just be everybody else, it will be a little bit about me at points. Um and uh, yeah, so I, I'm I'm excited to see what you guys think of these people, um, and yeah, I, th I just think it's really great. And like I say, it's all developed kind of from from my own Veep shows and, and seeing people, you know, like Carly Joubert and, and people like that. My cousin who came on as well, um, you know, get 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 their time that they deserve because there's some really talented people out there, and I think that you guys are, you know, hungry for them. Um, let's say. If somebody called you to be an actor, would you accept? I would, but I would think it was a prank call at first, if I'm honest. Um, a lot of flags coming through. Some flags I know, some flags I don't know. I'm not going to embarrass myself. When is that show? I can tell you. It's on the 31st of July. Um, you can go and get the tickets. The link will be in my bio right now. So go head over there, get yourself a ticket, and um, I'll see you at the show. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this, this hopefully, if you enjoy it, this is the pilot. That's what they say in the business, the pilot. Uh, and uh, hopefully there will be many more of these. Um, but lots of love, guys. And I'll see you at the show.